Nine. Unfinished cabinets, bases, and vanities as low as $71. Don't pay big box prices, but hurry. Limited quantities available. You better get it when you see it at West Yellowknife. Good morning and happy Friday. Always nice to end the week with you here on 3 Plus U. And we're going to jump ahead to some weekend plans for you, not this weekend, but next Saturday, because you need to head over to Dade County and we're going to tell you why this morning to the high school. Sandy White is on the show with us. She's with the Alliance for Dade. Next to her is Bonnie Casey, who is with, with the Plum Nelly Depot Art Show, an artist, a teacher, a Dade County supporter, mm -hmm. and y'all are gearing up for a free art show on the 12th. So good to see yep. you. Yes, thank you. First, a little bit of a history lesson, because for those of <coughs> us in Chattanooga, we have a Plum Nelly uh, shop here. Right. Yes. But Plum Nelly means something, especially if you're in Dade County. So mm -hmm. y'all have very purposely named this the Plum oh, Nelly yeah. Art Show. Yeah. Tell us the story. Well, the story that I heard, and I've lived in this that area for now 45 years, uh, the story of how the, the road got named is Plum out of Tennessee and Nelly out of Georgia. But the original Plum Nelly Art Show was Miss Fanny Menon who was over that, and it was a clothesline show on the bluff. I actually went to that show many, many years ago, which then kind of morphed into the new Salem Festival. Gotcha. But that's, yeah, that was right on Plum Nelly Road is where that started, and that's, she started the store in Chattanooga. Okay, so that all or circles sister, back around. Yes. Okay. So, Sandy, what you don't know, has been a really good tour guide for us here on the show. <laughs> and a couple of weeks ago, we went to Dade County. These segments will begin airing monthly right. uh, throughout the year. You're sort of new to Dade County, and you're, you've fallen in love, too. Oh, yes, definitely. It, it is such a beautiful area, such a quaint community, um, so rich in art and music. Um, it really it, it's just something you can't help but fall in love with. And then on top of that, you have all the wonderful nature and, mm -hmm. and the beauty of the mountains. So it's beautiful. And it's it easy is. to see how that would inspire artists to <coughs> want to come and be there. So let's talk about the art show on the 12th. It okay. is free yes. at the high school. Um, and so it will be regional artists, not just those from Dade County. Is that, that right? That's correct. But today, uh, you brought with you um, some of your local folks, including yes. yourself, right, yes, Bonnie? I did. So I'm going to hold this piece up. You are a textile lover. Right. And textile artist and slash quilter, though these pieces are machine quilted, I have done some typical quilting. I do art quilting, and, and I guess you would call me a fiber artist or okay. a textile artist. And this piece is actually three artists in one. The uh, tie-dye artist, who I got to sign the piece and asked her if I could use it, the tatting artist, and then I put it all together. That's absolutely lovely. It's called knowing. Knowing. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Then you recently traveled out west, so the piece that you have here is one, I'll hold it if Thank I may, you. that you did exclusively, right? Yes, I was very inspired when I was out west. Um, I was in Navajo country a lot. I was in the Four Corners area. And I would see this emblem on rugs and different art pieces. And of course, I, I did my own take on this emblem, and it's, it's the corn, uh, corn symbol mm -hmm. in Navajo culture, which means sustenance. And I collect things. I love the rocks. Yeah, yeah, and turquoise. These all have meanings also. This came from the Pacific Northwest, and I just, I was just inspired and put this piece together. So are you a person when you travel, if you see something, an object that looks interesting, you take it knowing yes, you'll I find do. a way to use it at some point? I do, and sometimes it's two or three years before uh -huh, I use it, and uh -huh. people give me things. Also. I would love to see your junk drawer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about some of the other artists who are there going to be there. Um, this lamp is fantastic. Who is this by? This is Claire Vassort. She is a silk painter and silk artist in our area and she actually has she does beautiful lamps I actually own one of her lamps which is a large one that hangs uh, but she does other other things mm -hmm. too like paintings and cards and 
scarves. She's well known for her long scarves, and she has done large installations in Chattanooga. She has one at the uh, con convention yes, center there. right now that was just put up that she and another artist did together, and she is doing one right now for the um, Discovery Museum. I love the contrast in her work because she's got it's wrapped in these fairy lights, like the Christmas lights, yeah. but then of course it's hidden, the cord goes through, so your yeah. plug is here, your outlet's here. Yes. But the, the, the softness of that silk yes. and then the raw wood, yeah. it's beautiful contrast. Beautiful piece of wood. Like beautiful right piece of wood. <laughs> okay, then your potter, okay. also from Lookout, right? Yeah, Mark Eisenberg is a Lookout Mountain potter, and he is a master potter. Mm -hmm. He studied with Charles Counts, many potters in this area. My brother-in-law, Bob Fazio, is a potter in this area who also studied with Charles Counts on Lookout Mountain at Rising Fawn Pottery, which is a historic, well-known pottery shop. You, you know, you can see nice pieces other places and you can say, oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. And then you see true works of art yeah. and Sandy nods her head. Yeah. That's the difference. <laughs> Before I even yeah. saw the Santa Claus, I was thinking what a great opportunity to get ahead on yeah. some Christmas shopping, but what's the story? Yeah. On? Nikki Oliver is a folk artist. He's originally from our area and he is a wood carver and uh, he is part of our show. He has his own beautiful little St. Nick's by Nick cabin Cheers. studio thing mm -hmm. uh, on our road and uh, really good at what he does. So do you have any idea, Sandy, how many different artists there will be at the show? Um, yes, close to 50 artists. Wow. Um, and we're really excited. Um, it's double from what we had last year. Um, and and Plum Nelly will kind of kick off the artist season, the, the show season for Dade County because um, after Plum Nelly, then in the fall, um, as she said, we have um, the New Salem M Mountain Festival, which was kind of the spinoff from um, Plum Nelly yeah. Clothesline okay. Art Show. And then um, in the win <clears throat> in December, then um, the Rising Fawn uh, studio tour comes out. And so the artist that you see here today okay. um, put on that tour. So with the one that's in the fall, the New Salem one, will mm -hmm. some of these same artists be represented then too? Uh, Nikki will. I am usually in that show. This year I can't do that show. Uh -huh. And I, I really love to support that show. And uh -huh. I, I love my booth at that show, but I can't do it this year. Right. That is the second weekend in October. Okay. Right. And from what I'm remembering, Sandy, when we took our little magical tour, if anybody has any questions, they can always reach out to your tourism office. Exactly. Right? We, have, um, we have a wonderful calendar of events that we'll send people. Um, we're happy to talk to anybody about what the, uh, the wonderful events and things we have on, uh, going on in Dade County. So yes, um, just give us a call. And do you think any of the people, and are the, are the artists who are gonna be there listed anywhere, by the way? Um, we have been posting um, features uh, every two, every week um, on our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, the Alliance for Dade Facebook page. Um, so we're showcasing the artists coming up um, coming up to the, the festival. That might be worth checking out because in mm -hmm. case some of the people mm -hmm. do things where you might have a commissioned piece you wanted to do, yes. you could kind of come prepared with that right, when yes. you go right. on the 12th. Right. Lovely. I wish yeah. I had your talent, but thanks yeah. for sharing it with us. And I'll be very careful around and, her yeah. lamp. <laughs> so it is yes. the Plum Nelly Depot. Depot Art Show on August 12th, begins at 10, runs until 4.30. It's free to you at the Dade County High School. And if you do go to allianceforday.com, you can learn more. And on Facebook is where you will see those profiles of yes. the artists who will be there. Right. Yes. Plum out of Georgia. Plum out of Tennessee, Tennessee and Nelly out of Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Little things, big things. Every day, people are making a difference in our neighborhoods. At Local 3 News, we share stories of unsung heroes who make our local